How's it going? Uh, good, I guess. But thanks. Oh, no problem, no problem. Oh. My name's Joe. What's yours? Harold. Harold. That's a lovely name there, Harold. So what grade are you in, Harold? I'm a sophomore. Oh, me too. Me too. Much better than freshman year, right? Yup. So what grade are you in? Seriously, dude. I'm trying to pee. Oh, sorry, dude. Me too. I just hate it when people make it awkward. Yeah. My favorite class is math. When I grow up, I want to be an accountant. Oh. Yeah. You just seem like the accounting type. Really? You think so? You really think I have what it takes? Certainly got the personality. What? Nothing. Now, seriously, dude, just let me pee. But why can't you pee while I'm talking to you? Does, does that make you uncomfortable? Hmm? Does it? 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 Oh my god! Shut up! Just let me have ten seconds to expel this goddamn liquid from my body. I'm closing my eyes and not responding to anything you say. Good day. I'm just trying. I said good day. Mmm. No! What the fuck is wrong with you? Hello, my sweet I can't even do this. Godforsaken room just so I could take a piss. But no, no, I come in here and I'm plagued by you! Whatever the fuck you are, you male succubus s creature. Fuck you! Well, I don't really think this situation calls for succubus. I'm not a woman, as you can tell. And I'm not exactly trying to ruin any relationships you're in. Not that succubi I always ruin relationships, but come, um, they do. And anyway, I feel a little disrespected at this moment in time. In fact, I think you, sir, need to come visit the sage. What the hell is wrong with you? No, 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 no. Come. It's time for you to meet him. W will you stop bothering me if I visit this... who? The sage. Come, come. Couldn't he hear a conversation a minute ago? Hey, Sageliness, I come to bring you an unenlightened soul, a lost soul in need of your mending. Please, great master, show him your ways. Ah. <laughs> Do you even go to school here? Oh, my schooling is complete, young Hanovich, but it is you who is to listen and absorb, and I to recite and teach. What? That's not even the question I asked. No, but it is a question you thought. Uh, no, no, I can assure you that is definitely not what I was thinking. Well, Cuttlefish, what were you thinking? Dude! You're a fucking dude! <laughs> sitting on top of a toilet in a school filled with children for like God knows how long, and you have this mangy ass beard and this cheap freaking wizard hat. You look like Gandalf and Merlin ran into each other, and then Dumbledore arose from the grave and took a shit on top of them. And then that shit, along with the unconscious Gandalf and Merlin, somehow transpired into you. That is what I'm thinking, that you're some crazy bastard who goes listening to teenage boys pee. Okay, I can deal with this. Don't take him away. What? You're telling me to leave? What if I had to take a large, Steaming a shit. <laughs> what if my beehole can't handle one more minute of not taking this dump? What if that happens and I come in here to find some crazy dude sitting on top of the toilet? What do you think is gonna happen then? My beehole is gonna explode. <laughs> what then? What then, huh? You sir have no right to tell me to leave. Harold! Be mindful to whom you are speaking. To a bum? To some shaggy ass fucking dude sitting on top of the toilet? Let me say that again. Sitting on top of the toilet. 
all perched up there like he's a falcon or something, waiting for some poor, unsuspecting kid to come in here so he can spring and capture them to keep in his dungeon. Stealing children is a serious matter, and I don't think it should be taken lightly. You shouldn't be taken lightly! Precisely. Now I think you ought to think upon your words and reflect upon this conversation. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Sir, I can understand your confusion as to why I am here. You do not know me, and I do not know you. The difference between us is that you began to judge me from the minute your eyes bestowed themselves upon my being. But I saw a confused and aggravated boy who could need some assistance, and I did not judge you, young Cuttlefish, I did not judge you. <laughs> I am the sage, or so they call me, but why do I have a title that puts me above you? Per se, why are you not a sage as well? Isn't that an unfair balance of power? Well, this is where my philosophy comes in. I think we are all enlightened. We are all sages, just some of us don't know it yet. Yes, we have all reached enlightenment, but most of us are but unaware of this beautiful fact. Becoming enlightened isn't normally saying, oh, I'm enlightened. It's becoming aware of your enlightenment. That is when you can truly be at peace. You know, in a strange, weird, <laughs> fucked up way, that actually makes sense. Yes, yes. It is hard for anyone to accept change. Ask a Republican. This is true! <laughs> Gosh, I feel better! Lighter! What is this? To accepting the philosophy, Cuttlefish. It is good. Let it fill you up straight to the top. Gosh, I feel amazing. Thank you, Sage. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, your sageliness. Now I will leave you to meditate. See? I told you all you needed was a trip to see the sage and everything would be better. Yes, my friend, you were right. I am sorry if I have hurt your feelings. That was wrong of me and I apologize for it. Oh, no, 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 no. It is all right. <laughs> now, it is time to consummate your initiation. Come with me. Yes, I will submit myself. Now, Harold, do you trust me? With my life. Remove your shirt and trousers. Yes, sir. Body is ready. <laughs> mm -hmm. 